The debate is picking up over masks at schools. There's new guidance from the American Academy of Pediatrics on whether kids should wear masks when kids go back to school. And this comes as the debate is hitting home this morning. School starts for a lot of kids even tomorrow. Chula Vista Elementary, Sweetwater School District. So News 8's Allison Royal is joining us live in Poway, where now a pretty large group is gathered there behind you. What's going on now, Allison? Well, good morning. So there are quite a few people gathered here today in Poway. I'm going to give you a live look. So they're all posing for a photo right now. These are all members of the parent-led group Let Them Breathe. They're advocating for mask choice, saying that it should be up to parents whether their kids decide to wear masks or not. Not up to the government, not up to school districts. So I... It's hard to estimate exactly how many people are here today in Poway, but we do have people of all ages. I just spoke to a woman who's 97 years old. I've seen some babies in strollers here. So I'm going to go grab Jamie right here. So this is Jamie. She is a member of Let Them Breathe. So Jamie, hi. What made you want to come out this morning? I have children, um, one in elementary school, and my daughter is in high school right now. And this mask is just basically fear-mongering. Um, the kids wear them for more than four hours a day, which just increases their chance of bacterial infection. It also um, can cause dental issues, they uh, cause psychological problems. They say they get mask breaks, but a lot of times they don't, or they're pushed longer and then because recess or something is coming up. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of problems with it going on. There's a lot of psychological issues with some kids. Um, it just makes them, they get yelled at in school when it slips off their nose. So. I'm out here to make sure that, you know, our voices are heard. If somebody wants to wear a mask, let them go ahead, but it shouldn't be a choice for everybody. So I'm assuming that your children are going to school in person. Yeah. How have you seen them change with these ever-changing times and having to wear a mask when they're on campus? Um, for my young, my daughter, the oldest, so she has a little bit more flexibility, but for my youngest, he no longer likes to go to school. He feels like he's always getting in trouble because as it slips off his face or he speaks, to ask a question, they get yelled at, pull it up. I buy him a mask, he can breathe in better, and they won't let them wear it. They keep making them put on these very cheap masks that have all these fibers that come off, even in your hand. So he's breathing that in, and that's, that's not healthy. He's just really frustrated and no longer really likes going to school as much as he did. What is that like as a parent when you are with your children every day and they tell you about what's going on at school? When it comes to this, it's really hard because we don't have a lot of control. This is the most control I have is to come out here and make sure my voice is heard, my kids' voice is heard. Um, it is really difficult. I've tried many things, different masks, talking to the schools, but there's just no one really listens or they really don't have any control over it themselves. So it's it's really frustrating and, you know, it's really stressful, especially for the kids, but also because I can't do much about it. Um, and I don't want to take them out of school. I don't, they need to be in person. I'm not going to keep them at home and away from friends and socializing and just bend to all these rules. I know that the California Department of Public Health guidelines are relatively vague and, you know, there are quite a few battles that parents have ahead of them. What is your ultimate goal with the school district that your children go to since districts have a little bit of local flexibility? I hope that they do let it be our choice. I understand it's some parents, some children might want to wear them, but I feel like they should let the children or the parents make that decision for themselves. Um, and it shouldn't just be for children who are vaccinated or not because there's we're ignoring natural immunity and the fact that there is a lot more dangerous viruses than this virus and we don't have any plan for those so I just really hope they recognize that and they start making it about choice and not about pushing it thank you very much for talking to me this morning Jamie so back out here live we are here in Poway a few more people actually showed up while I was having a conversation with Jamie so I'm gonna give you a look at the crowd here a lot of handmade posters over here some made by children some are pretty sophisticated so either a very artistic child or an adult but I'm going to check back in with you all in about half an hour and give you an update on this Let Them Breathe rally. There are several others going on later today. There's going to be one in Carlsbad, one in Oceanside, one in Santee, one in Valley Center. Those are all going to be around 5, 6 o'clock. So across San Diego County, parents are weighing in on this mass debate. I know it's a really hot topic with parents. So I'm going to send it back to you two.